Hi, this is Dr. Jeffrey Hanna at Atlas Health Australia. Today I'm not going to be talking so much about the normal thing as far as what we do about how neck affects nervous system and all this sort of stuff. Instead, I'm going to be talking very, very generically, just sharing with you a few thoughts as we're heading into the new year. Because the new year, a lot of times, it's the opportunity for us to, quote, do a soft reset. We have different things where we look back over the course of the year that haven't necessarily worked out as well as we wanted, or maybe things have worked great, and usually some of the common areas of life, so either our health, in our finances, in our relationships, all of these different things, and we look to see, okay, what are we going to continue to do, or what do we need to change for the next year? Now, I'm going to be bringing this into perspective here for you. I learned this from a gentleman named Jim Fortin. And the idea is that as much as we want to say, okay, well, we just want to do something and we want it to be easy and we want it to be great and all this sort of stuff. Okay, well, if you want to be great, before you can be great at something, anything, you've got to be bad or you've got to be good at it. So you can't be great unless you're good first. You can't be good at something unless you're bad at it. In other words, nobody is just a natural talent when it comes to most things. Most things, you have to give a go, persevere and struggle for a little while. But before you can even be bad at something, you just have to give something a go. And that could be anything. It just means that, okay, whatever you have been doing for this year, for next year, you've just got to start by doing something different. It doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't have to be great. And in fact, it won't be in the beginning. It should be an evolution. But if you get the idea and saying, okay, this is where you want to go. All right, what could you be doing different for next year so that you can have a different outcome for the end of the next year. As is oftentimes quoted to Einstein, if the definition of insanity is continuously doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. So what I wanted to share with you first and foremost is what will you be doing different? You don't know, don't worry about whether you think it's gonna work or not. I mean, if you think it's gonna work, you would otherwise wouldn't give it a go. But just come up with an idea, something that you can do different for next year if you want a different kind of an outcome. So what I want to do now in the second part of this video is show you a little strategy about using a bit of psychology and using the human tendency to like streaks and patterns and things like that as a way of developing new habits. New habits are not born overnight, but there is something to be said about where we are holding ourselves accountable for how we can make some kind of a change. So if you're like a lot of people, and let's say that this is your calendar right here, you've probably said, okay, yep, for the first day, I'm gonna do it. And then the second day, okay, yep, wow, that was really hard. And then the third day, and this could apply to your diet and exercise and anything that you want, okay? And so what happens is you do that, oh, and I didn't do it, oh, okay, well, yeah, this week's a write-off, this week's a write-off, but next week, next week or tomorrow, I will start it again. Okay, we did that. Oh, you know, things came up, things got busy. You get the idea. Now, most of the time, what people will do is they will just simply keep this in their head and try to do like a mental track like that. What I'm going to encourage you to do instead, I'm going to encourage you in your diary to whatever you pick to choose to do different, that you physically write it down. And I encourage you in the beginning to make it something that is ridiculously easy, something that takes no willpower, no extra activity. In fact, I would encourage, let's say that you wanted to change your diet. Okay, very simple one. When you get up in the morning, you're gonna have one extra glass of water. That's it, okay, so you're not changing anything, you're just adding something to it. And then if you have that extra glass of water, whether it's in the morning or later, you give yourself a tick. If you don't, you have to write yourself an X. Now let me show you how this can work to your advantage. So this is gonna to have to do with the phenomenon of momentum. So if you've had that extra glass of water or whatever change it is, first day, second day, third day, and you are physically writing it down, then what'll happen is if you get it on that fourth day, that fifth day, you can see that there's starting to be a pattern that's gonna be emerging. And the weird thing about human psychology is that for many people, what's gonna happen is, is that this is going to the very act of ticking, yeah, I did a good thing for myself today, that becomes a certain degree addictive. And what people do not want to do, they do not want to have to arrive at the end of a day and say, oh no, I forgot it, I messed up my streak, I had a streak of five, and that doesn't feel good. And so, what's going to happen then, and this is the key, is not 
if but when that happens is that you pick things back up and that you look to try to break your streak. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to use, if you would, some of the addictive behaviors of human mentality to try to work to your advantage by making a positive change and actually tracking it, physically writing it down to where you're ticking, okay, have you done something good? Whatever you're seeking to do. Again, what doesn't have to be something that is ideal and perfect in the beginning, just something that is different that you can track, that you can measure, that would be an indication that you're actually going in the right way to achieve whatever it is that your goal for the next year is gonna be. Again, this is one of those very simple kinds of things, but not necessarily easy, especially when habit is going to want to creep back in your life, which is again why I encourage you to keep track of something like this, and also in the beginning, whatever it is, is to make things very, very easy. I would not be encouraging you if you've never done the exercise for the last five years. I would not say, okay, well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna walk or run 15 to 30 minutes every morning. That's gonna be overkill. That will not ultimately get you in the long term where you wanna go because that's a little bit too far too high up. So hopefully you found this video valuable as you're gonna be kickstarting some things for the new year. And then if you do have any questions, comments, or things that you'd like to add on this one, please do share them because the more information like this and the more strategies that you have found that have worked, if you're willing to share those with other people, that way we can all get the greatest benefits. Hope everybody's gonna have a fantastic yeah. new year. This is Dr. Jeff Hanna at Atlas Health Australia.